back again with me Indri Lestari from Edusword Okay, now we are already up to unit 69 Okay, my YouTube, my videos are useful for you the learners and beginners who wants to learn English Okay, and want to improve um, your vocabulary and other skills to speak English fluently okay yeah and then uh, by the way if you have a lot of uh, if you have questions you can ask me in the comment yeah anything you want to ask about English you can just go ahead yeah in the comment and please 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 uh, ask more okay because by asking, you can learn more and improve yours, okay? Alright, let's jump up to the topic. Today's topic is about health. Yeah, Health, and it is the skill. The skill is writing. Okay, so uh, that's why I have written a paragraph about health. Yeah, introduction, content, and conclusion, yeah? I always, as usual, I always make my paragraph into three parts Introduction, content, and conclusion Okay? Alright uh, Introduction means how you introduce the title Content means you write a lot, I mean like more of the story about health, about the topic And then conclusion is the closing where you conclude, summarize the topic okay all right introduction health oh, okay health 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 always talking about health okay i think some of you will be bored about health but we really need it we have to do it anyway okay to stay longer and uh stay alive <laughs> okay so health uh i give you two definitions of the health Okay. Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. Okay. Alright. What does it mean is health is the condition. State is condition. Health is the condition of complete physical, mental, social well-being. Okay. So it means that your body your mental, your emotion, your social uh, skills, and your here, spiritual, intellectual, okay? It's the package. It's the package of um, yourself, yeah? Okay? And not absent means no, all right? Uh, the con not the condition. And means um, you are not sick, okay? Absence of disease means no disease, no illness, no sickness, or infirmity, okay? Infirmity, what is infirmity actually? Okay, let's find out. What is infirmity? Anyone knows what is infirmity? Let's check it out. It's not the daily, daily word, yeah? So... Not many people knows, including me. Okay, but I will try to find it for you, okay? Yeah, as you know, if you don't know, <laughs> I mean, if you don't know yet about how to find the um, meaning of the word, then you can go to translate, yeah? Translate, Google Translate is very easy to be used. So you just click translate and all, okay? the left side yeah and then you just click here okay click whatever you wanna uh the word you wanna find yeah the language okay because i wanna use i use english so i wanna translate infirmity okay infirmity infirmity okay so that's how you learn yeah okay Okay, so infirmity means weaknesses, yeah. Okay, weakness means like in the 
bad bad condition ya okay sickness or weaknesses okay right so health concludes mental physical social spiritual and intellectual okay right the other meaning of health is ability of body functioning well okay so your body works well your body can move and uh, do a lot of activities well and you feel okay you feel healthy you feel well when you do the activities that is health okay the condition of health yeah okay right next content the content yeah there are many things we can do to maintain healthy body such as eat well do sport wash hand wear mask avoid crowds yeah this is talking about the condition in covid time yeah <laughs> sleep well and meditate okay do the protocols yeah wear the mask do the protocols okay uh keep the distance away from the crowds and not too close when you speak okay make sure that the air the bad air doesn't come to your lungs okay and then what else oh uh, yeah wear mask eat a lot of uh, eat enough yeah eat a lot of or enough fruit and vegetable okay for sure yeah oranges and banana are very good okay because they give you power energy and also a good body system immune system okay all right next uh okay meditation meditation and then not gym. meditation yeah like yoga meditations yoga and meditation are very good example of uh healthy exercise you can try yeah when you do the meditation you just uh close your eyes for some minutes like 10 minutes okay and you try to think the good uh the good condition yeah and you can listen to the music play the music on with the uh, uh, meditation song yeah okay and then you can just close your eyes and you feel the air and the condition of the things yeah when the more you listen about the environment it will help you to relax and see the aura of your self yeah so you can see like maybe you listen to the uh, sound of the water you you hear the sound of the bird okay just let it be okay when you let it be it will makes you it will make you relaxed okay relaxed a positive mind yeah, of course yeah okay so have a try yeah have a try I have done it and it will yeah and it really helped me okay it really really helps me and I think uh, if you have like autistic ch children maybe you can try to uh, teach them okay to do the meditate yeah of course not as easy as we do it but at least they learn it okay like first not five minutes maybe yeah just three minutes is enough and play the calm music okay all right so those those are the tips for me okay for being healthy and relaxed because as we know from here okay health is not only about physic but it's about mental social spiritual and intellectual okay i will try to um explain in a easier word okay it means health means a condition 
condition, okay, or a situation when your physic, mental, social skills, emotion, spiritual, and intellectual or brain, okay, works well, okay. So if you if your physic is healthy. If your mental is good, mental good means like you're happy, you're not stressful, you're not angry, okay, oh, but you're calm, okay, good charisma, okay, and then social, well, you can talk with people easily, with the good language, yeah, and also uh, emotional, you can talk properly, politely, and spiritually, like, um, you have a good religion, yeah, you go to the religious place, and you really mean it, and apply it to your daily activity, eh, I mean daily routine, yeah, daily life, and also intellectual means brain, means uh, you can read books, yeah, reading is a very good, uh, healthy lifestyle. Reading good, reading books like, for example, reading English book or maybe science book that you try to apply it, and you can see that the world is not as small as the leaf. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can be open-minded, which make you healthy and relax. Okay. And of course. Um, more respect. Yeah, you, we will respect more people and appreciate them with even in the simple things. Yeah, okay. So it's not easy, but you can do it as you want. Yeah. Uh, we learn. A, okay, next we conclusion. Okay, we come to the conclusion. We learned about the definition of the health, yeah, two definitions of the health, and things we can do to be healthy, right? Okay, so there are a lot of things you can do to be healthy. Well, you can, uh, okay, I give you um, homework to do the list of healthy things you can do during COVID time, okay? Or maybe health, healthy things that you know, yeah. Write in a comment, okay, as many as possible, okay. Like the one that I already explained to you, okay. It's not hard, it's not also difficult. So, as long as we learn those one, two, three, four, five, six, six things, okay, remember. Physic, mental, social, emotional, spiritual, intellectual. Yeah. Okay. So, as long as those six elements are fulfilled, or you can make them bet uh, better. Okay. Make them good. Well, you are healthy. Okay. So I will review again. Yeah. Physic means your body, you you can move your body, physic, yeah, physic, okay. Mental means emotional, yeah, uh, whether you are stressful, whether you are managing uh, good stress or not, yeah, okay. Emotional, uh, the way you speak, the way you think, the way you thought, the way you um, imagine, okay. Right, social well being means yeah, how good you are, okay, and not to be sick, absence of disease means not to be sick, healthy, yeah, infirmity yeah, means like you try to be perfect, you try not perfect, but I mean, you try to be healthy, yeah, okay, emotional, spiritual, yeah, you go to church for example or you go to the temple to pray to make your um, spiritual good okay 
and intellectualized brain, how you think, how you um, think about you, how you think about other people, and how you think about this world, okay? Whether you think that the world is good or not, okay? Ta-da! Okay? So, that's it for today. Thank you. Uh, remember to always like, comment, subscribe, and share to many people you know. Thank you.